Tracy Seelock, and today I'll be demonstrating Hide and Pull in Smart Notebook. The first thing you're going to need to do is to open up a notebook page. Then, we're going to do a search in the gallery. Simply click on the Gallery tab and type in the word Pull. After you search, you're going to get some options. The first option we're going to talk about today is the Interactive Pull tab. If you click on Interactive and Multimedia, you'll see that you get some options for the pull tab. Go ahead and choose the one that's right for your project. Simply click and drag into your notebook file. After it's done loading, all you need to do is to click and then enter the text that you'd like to appear in your pull tab. After you're finished, you can pin the text using this little push pin right here. Now that's it. All you have to do is to simply draw the pull tab off to the side. And when you're ready, you'll be able to pull that pull tab, pull that pull tab into view. My pull tab says, I love using the pull tabs. I can use it to present information slowly or to write notes to myself as the presenter. And when you're through with that pull tab, all you need to do is simply drag it back out of view. The second option for creating a pull tab is to again go back into that gallery. This time, instead of choosing the interactive tab, we're going to choose pictures. Now when you go through the pictures, you're going to see many shapes and colors of pull tabs. Once you find the one that's right for your project, simply click and drag into your notebook file. Now this one requires an extra little step. You're going to need to type your text. I've already done this. Okay, last step. You're going to need to select both the pull tab and the text. Then on the drill down, select group. And now these two separate objects are now one. So when you click on it and drag it off to the top, it's a pull tab. I've got one created. Mine says there are two ways to create a pull tab. And that's it. You've just learned two different ways to create a pull tab so that you can hide and pull in Smart Notebook. Okay, now for an example of how to use hide and pull. Here I've created a notebook page where my students are trying to determine why do authors write. I've placed three pieces of clip art on this notebook page and three pull tabs where I've already typed the information and it's hidden off to the side. The students will look at each piece of clip art and then try to tell me what they think is trying to be communicated through that piece of clip art. This first one has a picture of a turkey holding a sign that says eat, por eat pork. So the kids, after a little bit of guessing, guess that this turkey is trying to get us to believe we should eat pork for Thanksgiving instead of turkey. And so then through a little bit of classroom discussion, we determine that the author's purpose is to persuade or convince their audience to do or not to do something. Now the same thing applies with the second piece of clip art. Here we have a movie theater with flashing lights. The kids, through some classroom discussion, come up with an author will write to entertain people. And then the third and final, they see a teacher lecturing to her students. And why do teachers do that? Well, to inform or teach someone something. There you have an example of how to use the hide and pull in Smart Notebook. 